What's up, my beautiful people? This is AV, and I'm back again with another video. This time, I'm inking a comics page from my horror comic, Nothing Good Ever Happens at 4 a.m. So this is actually a exclusive perk for my paid tier members for my Patreon. So I will be talking about the inking process and I'll also be talking just a little bit about the um, art supplies that I use, the erasable red pencil, as well as the Uniball Vision Fine Point Pen, and the Sharpie Brush Pen as well. And so typically I will um, go through the comic book page uh, with pencils, either a blue, erasable pencil or red erasable pencil uh, to put down the sketches i'll do some thumbnails but generally i work everything out on a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper um, the composition the style the gesture even the ideas of for the action and dialogue all on one page and erasable pencil first in this case, it's a uh, red erasable pencil. And uh, for erasable red pencil, uh, either use a brand called Manaloom, uh, which are regular red pencils with an eraser on top, uh, which you sharpen, or I will buy refillable leads uh, from Pinto, 0.5. Uh, they're going to my mechanical pencil, and it's just red pencil leads. Uh, the Manaloom pencils and a set of 12, I believe I paid about $9.50. And the um, mechanical pencil, refillable pencil leads from Pentel. Uh, I got a pack of three, so 36 leads in total for about $5.50. So it's relatively cheap to buy replacement leads or just buy a set of 12 pencils i think they're actually grading pencils that are erasable like teachers use so um, i love these pencils uh, like i said they're like i said about the blue lead they're easy to draw with and easy to erase and they go on to the bristol paper i use strathmore bristol to um, draw and ink the comic book and so it's easy to draw on this paper, really smooth lead um, when you are uh, applying pressure, evenly distributes the um, color and you can shade and get fairly good detail with either the um, mechanical pencil, which is the Pentel lead, or the Manaloom grading pencils. Um, so either or, it just depends on uh, what I have available at the time and whether or not I honestly whether or not I feel like erasing or I'm sorry uh, sharpening pencils over and over again uh, the mechanical pencil is quite a bit easier where you can just click and get uh, more lead and I don't have to go through the whole uh, sharpening uh, pencil thing because I really really have to have sharp pencils to draw it's just a weird uh, quirk of mine and so again, if you've been uh, following my Patreon or my YouTube channel, uh, you know that I um, love to use the Uniball Vision uh, Fine Point Black Pen. Uh, and so on to talking about the inking process, process I um, typically, like I said, will draw first and then ink. But um, I really get into all of the details with the ink and definitely have a plan or a map in my head from the pencil markings that I've made to create an ink drawing so that um, the ink drawing um, really, really fills in and captures all the dynamics of the artwork um, instead of relying solely on the pencil everything gets fleshed out in ink and for me the 
uh, Uniball Fine Point uh, pen is excellent for this. As I've stated many times before, it gives me a um, uniform and consistent line, and so I can really depend on um, the quality of the line that I'm getting, and I can change the pressure or the part of the pen that I'm using to get a different type of line, a thicker line, a heavier weight line, or even uh, a sketchy line or create scribbles or uh, pointillism and dots with this pen. I really can't say enough about this pen. Also in this particular drawing, I did use um, my Sharpie uh, brush tip uh, for background filling. Um, at this point in the drawing, I really wanted to um, really concentrate on the details of the zombie and just get as much gnarly and nasty uh, dried and dead skin uh, effect as I could and the guts being um, like eviscerated or empty and the rib cage being sunken in. And so this pen did allow me to get all those details in. And one good thing about these particular pens um, are they last forever. I got a set of 12 last year and um, yeah, they're, the ink inside um, flows really well uh, and the, the pens are great. They last forever. They are steel tip pens and so the even flow um, doesn't allow for much waste. So these are great pens. I believe I paid uh, 15 to $16 for a set of 12. So they are moderately priced as well. And, and so like I said before, they are regular office pens. I don't think they are made with the intention of using them for fine art. So I think that also keeps the price point at a uh, good and uh, keeps the price point low. Also, if you haven't already at this point, please like the video, um, share the video, please comment. Um, always please remember to um, share the video on all your social media platforms. I'm trying to grow the channel, trying to get a thousand um, YouTube followers. So please comment, like, and share. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and always hit the bell to be notified so you know when I uh, drop a new video. And again, I also want to take the time to say thank you so much to all my uh, Patreon members. I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be dropping a video soon uh, where you can get a free a hologram sticker uh, so stay tuned for that video and also if you'd like more information on how to become a patron make sure to click the link in the description box below with all my patreon information you can also follow me on instagram on facebook uh, i'm not on twitter so much but uh, definitely will be probably going back to Tumblr. I also have a Flickr account, but please definitely um, take the time and check out my free or public Patreon post. And then if you want exclusive content like this, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon account. As I said in the intro, this is the exclusive perk. So this is first looks uh, sneak peek at the real time inking uh, of this comic book page that will go public in a couple of weeks. But my Patreon paid members or followers on all tiers um, get exclusive first looks at the real time inking of this comic book page. And again, thank you so much to all my Patreon um, members and supporters. Uh, I'm super grateful that you take the time to check out everything that I'm doing and support me in such a tangible way. So thank you so much. Um, also, I'm debating about going live every month. So let me know what content you want in the comment section, in the comment section. 
if I go live what you would like to see. Uh, I did do a poll on Instagram and people wanted to know a little bit more about my process. Uh, but chime in in the comment section. What would you like to see if I draw live? Just a chit chat conversation or if you want to know more about my drawing or inking uh, process, let me know in the comment section below. And so, <clears throat> as I said uh, earlier, this is a new page in my comic book, uh, horror comic, Nothing Good Ever Happens at 4 a.m. Um, so I just recently picked back up where I left off and continuing to complete this issue. Um, this is a one of the many action scenes uh, where zombies are attacking. Um, I get the most glee and have a great time uh, drawing zombies mid-action, mid-roar, mid-bite, or just um, rushing towards one of our protagonists. So that's actually what is happening. Uh, if you haven't read issue one through six, I don't want to give away any plot points, but the uh, main characters seem to always find themselves in peril, which would obviously be the case in a zombie uh, comic book. But again, I was able to use the Uniball fine point pen and for the background inking in black I used um, a sharpie brush pen which is a fairly new uh, brush pen for me it just gives me a great smooth solid black uh, that fills in rather easily and quickly it's a larger brush tip uh, and it I, I like it I don't have any complaints about uh, the sharpie brush pen sometimes if you use a standard chisel tip or a round tip uh, you'll get streaks but with this new brush tip um, there aren't any streaks and it just gives you a nice solid black I do like to sometimes go in with the uniball uh, fine tip to make either scribbles or dot pattern uh, which I'm you know accustomed to doing but sometimes you just want a, a solid black line Again, this page has zombies attacking, so it's always fun to use ink pens to create lots of gesture and lines and uh, contort the human body in many different ways. And uh, these pens give you a great detail and opportunity to show the form and uh, the volume of the body with different line weights, with different mark making techniques. Um, and so I'm actually not going to talk too much more over the drawing, but I did want to sort of explain what I'm doing and the materials that I'm using, uh, the art supplies that I typically buy and use to draw a comic book. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. I uh, just want to remind you again to please comment, of course, like. It helps the al algorithm share my video out when you like the video. Uh, YouTube seems to like that. And so like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten to this point, you're a real one. <laughs> Thank you for watching again. Uh, as I always say in my videos, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.
Street.